he had a huge impact. I mean, he's my dad, my coach, you know, my mentor. He, in all areas, he helps me uh, on and off the court. So he, you know, he did a great job of, you know, nurturing me and let, also giving me freedom to pick what I want to do and not pressure me too early. It helped me like genuinely fall in love with basketball. I think if, you know, as a father, he didn't pressure me to play it cause just because he did. He let me, you know, figure out my own path and. I, once I did that, I was able to fall in love with the game, and ever since then, I've you know been balling. I knew he had he had talent. I knew that, uh, but it was get to tap into it. His focus was as a young player. I like making hustle plays, playing defense, getting rebounds, and he did have some offense that slowly was coming, you know, to fruition. And uh, it was just a matter of the right teammates, the right team, the right coach to bring his offense out. He started getting to his own when he was at part two. Mainly the community I was, you know, joining in part tutor, it was very, you know, family oriented. I was able to adjust really easily and they embraced me. I was known as Darren. I, I probably like, the basketball came as a, you know, just, oh, Jaren plays basketball, that's cool. Like, it wasn't really, you know, that much of a thing until the season really started and I really got time. I learned that basketball is going to be a big part of my life at that point. Um, that most of my teammates really expected a lot out of me at such a young age. He came high school, I knew of him, I didn't know him. He came to the open gym one day wearing all his gear, you know, looking tough. I was like, okay, he's about to, he's about to be something interesting. And then he actually came out and showed out. He was hitting all kinds of shots, you know, rain, hand up, it don't matter, it's going in. But, you know, right then is when our relationship kind of started. That's my big little brother. He's younger than me, but um, that's, that's my brother. Go to school together, uh, just won two state titles together. You know, on the court, we were, you know, groomed together, you know, Get similar time each year, and then our relationship build off that. Oh, that's like my best friend. Um, clown with him, um, but that, that's it. He's my brother. Uh, that was a tough decision because I had been at Park Tudor so long, and those were all my friends. Where all my friends were, and it was a very comfortable environment for me, but I feel like that was the best decision for me and my family coming off the UIBL and playing against great players there. The move was mostly for playing better competition in practice as well as in the game because I'm playing with high level, high level players in practice and then I go to the game and I'm playing against players that are just as good and that is all going to get me ready for college because I'm going to have to be playing those type of guys every single night. Shout out Andy Jim Hoops. Man. Welcome to the Lou, man. Lou, man. Welcome to the Lou, boy. Hey, thank you. Ever since we became roommates, uh, I think we probably had a tightest bond more than anybody on the team. Uh, we talk to each other every day. Uh, we got super close conversations. <laughs> uh, I was just laughing because it's Jordan, but Jordan, he was my he was my roommate coming in. He's going to Michigan, which is funny because I'm going to Michigan State. And that always, you know, makes us laugh in the room. And we have two banners: one Michigan, one Michigan State. It broke my heart, obviously, that Michigan was uh, obviously one of his finalists, but being able to meet somebody like that, and those are just relationships that I'm going to have for the rest of my life, so that's my homie. And, you know, he's been a great friend to me. You know, he's a tough kid, he's, and he's really been helping us this year. I mean, I'm not much of a crier, but, you know, if there's any moment where I cry of joy, that's probably one of them. The day that it was going to be announced, it was on my mind the whole the whole day. Uh, I was just thinking, like, man, I really hope I'll be selected for this. This, this is going to be crazy. And I was sitting. I remember I was sitting in the lobby with we we were at a tournament, so I was sitting 
with some of the other top players that were going to get selected. And, you know, Paul Biancardi was talking about, you know, and I just, you know, I had butterflies in my stomach. I'm like, man, I really hope he picks me. So they showed the first two players, they showed Trey Duvall, and then they showed uh, Wendell, and they were sitting right next to me, and they were like, yes. And then they showed, like, they just threw out the whole list of the East. And I'm like, I'm reading, I'm like, I'm not on here. Dang, and I'm from the East Coast? I'm like, ooh. I'm like, man, it looks, I was like preparing myself. I was like, man, it looks like I'm not on it. I'm like, okay. And then uh, I knew my, my teammate, Tugs, he was sitting, he, was, he wasn't on the East team either. And he, I, he wasn't with me, he was with his family, but I was like, man, I wonder what he's thinking. So the West, the West is showing, they're about to show the West, and I'm thinking, man, I'm probably not gonna be on here. And they show the whole West roster, and I see my name on there, and I was so happy. I, it was just, you know, I was celebrating with my teammates. They all jumped on me in the hallway. You know, we were screaming. You know, me and Brian were really happy. We're playing in front of NBA scouts, so, so this is going to be like a real a moment where you have to separate yourself in ways that you know others might not think. So you know, you want to run the floor, you want to be a good teammate, you want to do the little things that make you stand out from the rest. Because when you're amongst all great players like that, I mean, you have to find little ways to stand out. Because everybody, I mean, everybody can score. That's why you're there. Everybody can rebound, and pass. Everybody can do those things. But it's how you know how much you do it, the productivity of you do it, the effort. You know, the motor you have, running up and down, the talking, you know, little things like that, which I've, you know, learned a lot at Lalu. Everything's been really amazing, you know. Day one, you have to go out there, get your feet wet, uh, get to know the guys, get to know the format of practice. That was great. I thought I could have done more day one, but, you know, day two I came out there, played with a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, I was able to, we hung out a lot, you know, outside, you know, we got a lounge and stuff like that, so that was fun hanging around with the guys and, you know, being a part of just all the festivities here has been cool, you know, we just had a day, we just had our last practice. Right now we're, we're all here for one thing and that's just to play in front of NBA scouts and get better playing against the best people. So you try to, you know, you try to focus on one thing at a time, but just know that you have to, you know, have that off and on switch when it's time, you know, a couple days, it's all, it's go time. He's mad cool. Um, I feel like we really bonded because um, we was together for like pretty much a month. He was my roommate um, over there in uh, Spain or whatever, so we was talking and stuff, laughing, just having fun. I've gotten to know him a lot over this past year and a half um, with him playing in the UIBL, um, going to camps, USA, uh, just getting to, getting to meet him and uh, talk to him. We're, we've gotten to be really close and we hung out a lot here at McDonald's. He really is goofy. He's He's uh, he'll, he'll sit with his headphones and be quiet when we're just talking. He's, yeah, he, he's pretty funny. And the final seconds tick away. Lomir has wiped away its heartbreak from a year ago. The Lakers win their first Dicks National Championship. We did it. That's up, man. We've been through so much as a team, man. I can't stop smiling. I'm so happy we did, we did this, man. You know. We had this goal the whole, the whole year. Redemption, everything, perseverance, strength, toughness, we had it all, and we came out on top. Um, our, our relationship is good. Our, our team is very tight. Everybody has a great relationship. He's a funny dude. Uh, he's going to be great for us this season. In addition to being part of the all-freshman team, Jackson named the individual freshman of the year and Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Of course, he set an MSU school record with 102 blocks on the season. We all sit back and say, wow, look at these young guys playing. They, they're going to see each other again someday. And that's refreshing to see. We'll continue to work in, in working and getting better as a young player. And that's what Jaron Jr. is doing now. McDonald's and Jordan all travel the country, you know, finding you, giving you awards which is great, you know, it really makes you feel good getting acknowledged for these things that you worked hard at. 
And a lot of players I looked up to, you know, that are in the NBA now have played in these events. Being named alongside with them just makes you feel like you're on your way. So uh, when you made your decision to go to Michigan State, <laughs> we putting that on camera. We putting that on camera. Follies. 